shortwave diathermy application techniques okay so in that first technique is condenser type here you are going to use condenser for the treatment of diathermy so the output of the short wave diathermy machine is connected to metal electrode which are positioned on the body over the region to be treated so you are going to place the electrode that is metal electrode on the body where you have to take the treatment okay uh, so diathermy machine will be connected to the uh, electrode where uh, connected to the electrode where the electrode placed on the body so those electrodes will be called as their pads okay in the terminology uh, diathermy uh, diathermy treatment you will be calling the electrodes used as pad okay so the part of the body to be treated is placed between the electrode called the pads without touching the skin this will be forming a capacitor so your uh, electrode as well as your body okay body means body tissue will form a uh, plates that is capacitor plates that is connecting plate okay uh, in between these two you will be having skin so skin going to act as a dielectric material okay non connecting material so due to the losses occurring uh, in the dielectric uh, the heat will be produced in the intervening tissues okay uh, this is the diagram of that pad which is used uh, for the diathermy treatment okay so you are going to place the electrode above the part of the body where you have to uh, take the diathermy treatment so usually layers of towels are interposed between the metal and the surface of the body the pads are placed so that the portion of the body to be treated is sandwiched between them this arrangement is said to be condenser method so here you are going to place the pad in the portion where you want to take the treatment which going to be sandwiched in between them okay so pad going to be uh, sandwiched between the uh, tissues okay uh, and then uh, electrode so so that uh, the sandwich uh, method you are arranging this uh, condenser that's why we are calling it as the condenser method so here the metal pads will be acting as the two plates while the body tissue between the pads will be acting as the dielectric of the capacitor so when the radio frequency output is applied to the pads the dielectric losses of the capacitor manifest themselves as heat in the intervening tissue so due to the losses in the dielectric material that is your tissue body tissue the uh, heat will be transported between the tissues okay so diathermally heat uh, uh, applying the temperature or heat to the body tissue so in this manner you will be applying this is said to be condenser type which will be going to act as the uh, capacitor like manner okay the next uh, technology is inductor type so here you are going to use flexible flexible cable which will be wounded around the part of the body to be treated so when a rf current which is passed through the cable an electric field will be set up at its end and magnetic field at the center uh so you are going to mount the uh, body uh, body tissue by the uh, uh, cable okay flexible cable so when you are applying the electric field through the cable uh, electric field may be created at the one end and uh, in the center part uh, you will be uh, uh, creating or generating the magnetic field so due to this deep heating will be achieved that is electrostatic field or superficial heating will be achieved due to the magnetic field um, created in the center part okay this is the diagram of that see here here you are going to treat the leg with the diathermy 
uh, so here your leg is bounded with the coil so when you are applying the current through the cable you will be having the uh, uh, magnetic field generation at the center part of the uh, tissue okay which will create the temperature or uh, produce the heat to the body tissue okay then next next type of diathermy is microwave diathermy so these are the two techniques inductor type as well as condenser type is nothing but application technique of short wave uh, diathermy okay this is the first type of diathermy second type is microwave diathermy okay first one short wave diathermy second one microwave diathermy so microwave diathermy consists in irradiating the tissue of the patient's body with very short wireless waves having frequency in the microwave region so microwave the name itself given the microwave so here we are going to use the microwave signal the signal which will be having the gigahertz frequency okay gigahertz range of frequency will be called as microwave signal okay so that uh, range of frequency will be used in the um, diathermy technique that's why it's called as a microwave diathermy so microwave diathermy consists in irradiating the tissue of the patient's body we are going to apply the microwave signal to the patient's body okay with very short wireless waves with a uh, gigahertz frequency okay the most commonly used microwave frequency for the therapeutic heating is 2450 megahertz so you can uh, they given in the terms of megahertz but actually you can say this in terms of gigahertz okay 2.4 gigahertz so corresponding to a wavelength of 12.25 cm so this is the most uh, 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 range frequency range which is uh, used in the therapeutic heating that is in the diathermy technique so this is the block diagram of microwave diathermy <coughs> so you are going to have power supply as well as oscillator microwave oscillator one type of microwave oscillator is magnetron uh there is there are more number of uh, more types of uh, microwave oscillator so klystron oscillator magnetron oscillator so in that we are particularly we are selecting magnetron oscillator okay so uh, microwave oscillator will generate the signal with the frequency range of microwave that is gigahertz okay and then high voltage power supply only here we are going to use that means it will provide the high voltage value more than 230 volt okay so the generated microwave signal is uh, transformed to the transmitting antenna so the transmitting antenna will transmit through the wireless medium to the body tissue okay which have to be treated so the explanation for the block diagram is given here the essential parts of your microwave diathermy unit are shown in figure the main supply voltage is applied to an interference suppression filter so the supply voltage which is taken from the uh, main will be applied to the suppression filter here the voltage value will be suppressed by the filter so this filter will be helping to uh, bypass the high frequency pickup generated by the magnetron uh, so it will be avoiding the high frequency signal okay uh, to pass through the magnetron a fan motor will is directly connected to the main supply so the fan is used to cool the magnetron device so the magnetron device which uh, will be getting uh, uh, temperature heavily okay so due to long use of magnetron it will be heated so to cool that magnetron device you will be using the fan okay to cool that magnetron device then only you will be getting the perfect that is stable output in the magnetron unless you will not be getting the stable output you will be getting the varying um, performance that means a uh, different range of frequency will be uh, received from the magnetron or generated from the magnetron 
uh so this special type of device will be called as magnetron which is used for the production of high frequency current of high power okay it is high range range of frequency with the high current as well as with the uh, uh, high current means what power value will be very high this is the schematic diagram of microwave diathermy unit so that is block diagram this is circuit diagram okay see the you are having high frequency filter before the uh, magnetron in between the main supply as well as uh, magnetron you are having high frequency filter and then timing circuit power control so uh, this power control will be avoiding the fuse occurring in the circuit <coughs> then rectifier one and two okay what is the use of rectifier it will be converting the ac signal into dc okay and then here this is the magnetron that is a uh, microwave signal generator or oscillator Okay, which will be generating the high frequency signal or high power signal this uh, generated high frequency signal will be sent to the transmitter device through the microwave output okay so this is the setup of your microwave diathermy unit <coughs> so this rc circuit at all driving circuit driving the signal circuit, uh, which is uh, received from your rectifier circuit will be drived to the magnetron device okay delay circuit so the delay circuit which will be necessary for the magnetron to warm up for 3 to 4 minutes before power may be derived from it so delay circuit is used in between the magnetron and power supply so this delay circuit will delay the few minutes that is 3 to 4 minutes to make your magnetron device to warm up that means get ready okay the a delay circuit is incorporated in the apparatus which connects the anode supply to the magnetron only after this time elapses so here uh, we are going to use the uh, delay circuit uh, in the apparatus Uh, which will be connecting the anode supply of the magnetron uh, to uh, make your time convenient okay so the arrangement is such that a lamp uh, lights up after 4 minutes indicating that the apparatus is ready for use so in the delay circuit you will be using the lamp light lamp light means you can use lamp light or led anything else for indicating that uh, your magnetron device is ready to accept Uh, the input which is coming from the power supply okay so for, uh, it will take 3 to 4 minutes to get ready okay that is provided by the delay 3 to 4 minutes is provided by your delay circuit the next magnetron circuit so magnetron filament heating voltage is obtained directly from a separate secondary winding of the transformer so the filament which is present in your magnetron device will be heated by getting the supply from secondary winding of the transformer so the filament cathode circuit contains interference suppression filter okay so the interference suppression filter will suppress the noise so the anode supply to the magnetron can be either dc or ac so the cathode and the anode part of the Uh, magnetron is given here cathode circuit will be having suppression filter the anode part of the magnetron will be either in uh, dc form or ac form dc is nothing but direct current ac means alternative current okay so dc signal ah irukla illaina ac signal ah hu irukla so here the dc voltage is obtained by full wave rectifier by using full wave rectifier you will be getting the dc voltage Uh, which will be followed by voltage doubler circuit that means uh, uh, the rectifier which is used in the circuit will be converting the ac into dc that dc signal will be applied in the cathode of 
cathode of magnetron device okay so including with the uh, rectifier you will be having voltage doubler circuit so voltage doubler circuit means the voltage value of the that is dc voltage which is uh, received from rectifier will be doubled okay if a 2 volt na it will be converted into 4 volt in the voltage doubler circuit okay and then only it will be sent to the magnetron device a high voltage variable resistance is connected in series which will be controlling the current applied to the anode of the magnetron so the variable resistance which is connected here this uh, capacitor resistor having no in the anode side okay so this will be uh, providing the variable resistance for the anode part of the magnetron is the cathode this one this side is anode okay so when using ac the voltage is applied to the anode of the magnetron through a series connector thyrotron thyrotron means this one thyrotron so that the ac voltages of uh, both tubes are equal in phase so when you are up, when you are using the ac signal in the anode side which will be connected through the thyrotron okay so what will happen your tubes uh, both uh, uh, both uh, end will be in the in equal in phase okay the phase will be equal in both uh, end okay so by shifting the phase of the control grid voltage with respect to the phase of the anode voltage the amount of current through the magnetron can be determined and thus the output power can be varied so on varying the uh, phase value at the uh control grid okay with respect to your anode voltage you can change the value that is uh, magnetron output value power value can be varied so if you want to change the value of pow output power of magnetron then you can change the phase value of control grid with respect to your anode voltage phase okay so the phase shift can be achieved by using a capacitor resistor network the so phase shift is done by your capacitor rc network okay this rc network only going to change the phase uh, shift at the anode region of your magnetron device which will be changing the power value of magnetron Then safety circuits. First, uh, we saw about delay circuit, then magnetron circuit. Next, safety circuit. So, there are chances of magnetron being damaged due to excessive flow of current. It is thus we have to protect the uh, device by using some safety circuits. Okay, inserting a safety circuit. So, here we are going to introduce fuse. Okay, 500 milliamps fuse in the anode supply circuit of the magnetron so by inserting the fuse it can be able to withstand for the 500 milliamps unless if go uh, if it goes more than 500 milliamps the current value goes more than 500 milliamps the fuse will be burst out okay or break out okay so in this manner you can protect the magnetron device from the damage so the protection of both the patient as well as the radiator radiator is a transmitter okay which will be transmitting the microwave signal from the uh, magnetron device will be called as a radiator is ensured by the automatic selection of the control range depending on the type of radiator used so based on the radiator that is antenna which is transmitting the microwave signal to the patient will be called as a radiator so that radiator type okay you are having more radiator types so based on the type of radiator we are using we will be setting the value of fuse okay setting the value of fuse uh, to protect your magnetron device so excessive dosage may leads to the skin burn okay so if you give more uh, electric power output Okay, that is microwave signal. Uh, the skin may 
burn out okay and in all cases the sensation experienced by the patient is the primary guide for application so this will be playing an important role and then uh, skin should be dry as these waves are rapidly absorbed by water so your skin uh, which have to be treated uh, should be very dry okay so if it is wet uh, then uh, the microwaves can be easily absorbed by the water that's why you have to keep your skin dry when you are uh, uh, using the diathermic machine that's all about the microwave diathermy unit